everyone and welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to do a diy hair rinse that will help promote longer stronger hair if you are interested in this video then please stay tuned so the ingredients that i'm going to be using in this recipe is going to be a quarter cup of a tea blend that contains peppermint leaves rosemary leaves sage and spearmint leaves so I did pick up this tea blend from an herbal store. If I'm not able to find a link to this tea blend, then I'll go ahead and link each individual ingredient. And each ingredient is about one tablespoon. Next, you're going to need two tablespoons of fenugreek seeds. And I also have two cups of water boiling on the stove. So when it comes to peppermint, peppermint helps to increase circulation to the areas it's applied to. This helps to promote hair growth during the growing phase. Peppermint helps to increase the number of follicles, follicle depth, and also overall hair growth. Rosemary is one of the best herbs for enhancing hair growth, which thickens the hair. Rosemary is believed to increase cellular metabolism that helps stimulate the hair growth. Also, rosemary helps to stimulate the hair follicles by increasing circulation to the scalp. Sage not only helps prevent hair loss, but it also rejuvenates and strengthens the hair follicles. The usage of sage can also boost blood circulation in the scalp, increasing the supply of nutrients to the hair follicles. When spearmint is applied to the scalp, it improves blood circulation, which helps to strengthen hair follicles and cause hair to grow more quickly. Also, spearmint prolongs the hair fall cycle when it is regularly applied to the scalp it has the ability to keep the hair retained in its follicle for longer so after i've added all my ingredients into the mason jar i'm just going to pour in two cups of hot water and then i'm going to place the lid on and wait for the rinse to cool down you can also let this sit overnight so when it comes to the storage of this tea rinse, you could place it in the refrigerator and it should last two to four weeks, or you could place it in the freezer and it should last about three to six months. So after the tea rinse has cooled down, I'm just going to use my cheesecloth to strain the tea rinse. And then I'm going to place it into a spray bottle for easier application. So with this tea rinse, you can use it as a leave-in spray. So you can use this two to three times a week. Just follow up with your favorite hair butter or favorite hair oil to seal in the moisture. When using it as a tea rinse, you want to apply it after you've deep conditioned your hair. Just pour the rinse all over your hair and catch it with a bowl so you can repeat. Let the rinse sit on your hair for about two to five minutes. Rinse out your hair one last time with either cold or warm water. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.